Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Sparkle English where I teach you how to improve your level of English. In my last lesson, I taught you about 10 basic comma rules. In today's video, we're going to very quickly review the 10 basic comma rules and then have a 20 question quiz where you will have to practice using commas. So let's start with a brief overview of the 10 basic comma rules. Number one, use commas to separate a series of words, nouns, adjectives, or verbs in a sentence. For example, she ate chocolate, comma, cookies, comma, and ice cream at her birthday party. Rule number two, use a comma to separate a series of phrases in a sentence. Example, I bought groceries, comma, went to the bank, comma, and cleaned the house after work. Rule number three, use a comma to separate independent clauses when they are joined by the following conjunctions, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Remember that an independent clause is a complete sentence. For example, John is going to the wedding, comma, but I don't think Tony can come. Rule number four, use commas after introductory clauses, phrases, or words that come before the main clause. Example, when I was a child, comma, I loved to play dodgeball. Rule number five, use a comma after yes and no when they begin a statement. No, comma, I don't want to go on a date with you this weekend. Rule number six, use a comma when directly addressing someone in a sentence. Joel, comma, did you just get a promotion? Rule number seven, use a comma to separate a quotation from the rest of a sentence. I want to go to the cinema tonight, comma, Sharon said. Rule number eight, use commas to separate multiple adjectives that describe the same noun when the word and can be placed between them. He is a funny, comma, intelligent man. Rule number nine, use a comma to separate the name of a city from a country or state. Example, I was born in Toronto, comma, Ontario, comma, Canada. And finally, rule number 10, use a comma to separate the day of the week, the day of the month, and the year. Example, today is Tuesday, comma, October 12th, comma, 2021. So this is a very fast overview of the 10 basic comma rules. To have a lesson that's very detailed, go to the link in the description below to see my video on these exact 10 basic comma rules. We're going to have two different quizzes with 10 questions in each quiz. In the first quiz, you have to place commas in the following sentences. All 10 of these sentences are missing commas. I'm first going to read the 10 sentences, and then after, we will correct them together. Number one, mom asked me to do the dishes, make my bed, and mop the floor. Number two, we need to get milk, cheese, turkey, and bread from the supermarket. Three, unfortunately, I can't make it tomorrow night. Four, are you prepared for the meeting tomorrow or do you need more time? Five, I think Chris Hemsworth is from Melbourne, Australia. Six, before a long day of work, I like to drink a large cup of coffee. Number seven, Santa asked, what would you like for Christmas? Eight, my mom wants to have a party for her anniversary, but my dad wants to go away for the weekend. Nine, yes, that sounds like a great idea. And finally, 10, when you were a kid, did you play hopscotch? So now we're going to correct these together. In number one, Mom asked me to do the dishes, comma, make my bed, comma, and mop the floor. 
we have a series of three different phrases, and we have to separate these using commas. In number two, we need to get milk, comma, cheese, comma, turkey, comma, and bread from the supermarket. This comma here before the conjunction is called the Oxford comma. Some people prefer not to use it, but I always use the Oxford comma. It helps to prevent confusion. I have a video on the Oxford comma, which I will also link you to in the description below this video. Number three, unfortunately, comma, I can't make it tomorrow night. Number four, are you prepared for the meeting tomorrow, comma, or do you need more time? Here we have two different independent clauses. Do you need more time? And are you prepared for the meeting tomorrow? So we have to have a comma before the conjunction. Number five, I think Chris Hemsworth is from Melbourne, comma, Australia. Remember, we have to separate a city and a country with a comma. Number six, before a long day of work, comma, I like to drink a large cup of coffee. We have an introductory phrase here introducing this independent clause, the main clause, so we have to use a comma. Number seven, Santa asked, comma, before the quotation, what would you like for Christmas? My mom wants to have a party for her anniversary, comma, but my dad wants to go away for the weekend. Again, we have two different independent clauses, so we have to join them with a comma before the conjunction. Number nine, yes, comma, that sounds like a great idea. Remember, we need to use a comma after yes or no when they begin a sentence. And 10, when you were a kid, comma, did you play hopscotch? When you were a kid is a dependent clause. And when a dependent clause comes before an independent clause, we have to use a comma. So let me know in the comment section how many you got out of 10 before we continue the second part of this quiz. So the second part is a little more difficult. You have to tell me if the sentences are correct or incorrect. Some of them have correct usage of commas and some do not. So make sure to correct the ones that are incorrect. Number one, yes, I would like to order a coffee. Number two, Molly, do you want pizza or pasta for dinner? Three, Catherine is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, he said. Four, I'm not that hungry, so I'll just order a salad. Five, when he was a boy, he loved to throw rocks with his friends. Six, were you born in Madrid, Spain, or somewhere else? Seven, we need balloons, cake, and ice cream for Luke's party. Eight, he is a strong, stubborn boy. Nine, they're getting married on Saturday, June 4th, 2022. And finally, 10, Joseph is studying to be a police officer and has the best grade in his class. So now let's correct these together. Number one is correct. We have a comma after yes. Number two is incorrect. We need a comma after Molly because we are directly addressing Molly, so we have to have a comma. Number three is also incorrect. Here, at the end of the quotation, we have a period and we need a comma, so this should be a comma. Number four is correct. We have two different independent clauses. I'm not that hungry, I'll just order a salad. And because they are joined with this conjunction so and the comma, it is correct. Number five, we need a comma. Number five is incorrect. We have a dependent clause, when he was a boy. And so we have to put a comma after boy. When he was a boy, comma, he loved to throw rocks with his friends. And number six is also incorrect. We need to add two different commas here. We have to have a comma after Madrid to separate the city and the country, and then also after Spain. If the sentence ended, were you born in Madrid, Spain, we wouldn't need the second comma. We would just have a question mark. 
But because we have more words after Spain, we have to add another comma. Number seven is correct. We have a series of three different things in a list and they're separated with commas. Number eight is incorrect. He is a strong, stubborn boy. We need one comma between strong and stubborn because we can say he is a strong and stubborn boy when it's two different adjectives that are describing the same noun, we have to have a comma in between those two adjectives. Number nine is also incorrect. We need to add two different commas. They're getting married on Saturday, comma, June 4th, 2022. Again, we use commas to separate the day, the date, and the year. And finally, number 10 is a tricky one. This one is actually correct. Joseph is studying to be a police officer and has the best grade in his class. Some people might think we need a comma before and, but we do not need a comma before and because has the best grade in his class is not an independent clause. If this said Joseph is studying to be a police officer and he has the best grade in his class, then we would need a comma before and. But here we have an independent clause followed by a conjunction and a dependent clause, so we do not need a comma before the conjunction. So let me know how many you got correct out of 10 for the second part for a total of how many out of 20 for the basic comma rules quiz number one. If you got less than 16, I recommend you review the basic comma rules video again and then try this test once again. If you're interested in more comma quizzes, let me know in the comment section below or what other types of punctuation or English help you need and I will try to create a lesson on that. Thank you guys once again for watching and make sure to subscribe to Sparkle English for more videos just like this one.